Woohoo, this has got me excited. Say hello to my new batteries. A little bit bigger, a bit taller and a bit wider than the old battery, not actually quite as long. So clearly different cells. I'm dying to have a look inside it, aren't you? Kia ora, welcome to Busters. It'll probably make more sense if you've been following my progress. Um, otherwise, I'll catch you up now. I bought a lithium ion battery, very cheap, locally. Uh, here's the cells out of it here. Turned out they were um, a lower capacity cell than advertised, and then they performed considerably lower than that again. They're actually. Um, They were actually in pretty poor condition. I'm not sure if you can see it, but they were quite badly swollen. Um, they look like quite good batteries. With a bit of fiddling around, I got them up to 175 amp hours uh, capacity uh, with a rated 270, so very disappointing. Went back to the manufacturer, or, or went, went back to the supplier, and um, although I'd pulled them apart, he was willing to replace them, and the new batteries have arrived. So let's have a look at them. So it looks like the same sort of balancing setup. We have the four rows of resistors and all the smarts as we know are underneath here. Right, let's take a first peek at these cells. Oh, they're in a different orientation this time. So like last time, I'll start by getting rid of this link, which will split the pack in half and make it a bit easier, to, a bit safer to deal with. Okay, so I've taken out the negative terminal to make this assembly a little more flexible. And now I'll expose these links here. Now, first glimpse indicates some kind of crazy things. Now, these three cells have got a red edge and a black edge for positive and negative, and positive is silver and negative is uh, copper, or aluminium by the looks of it, and copper, which is cool. Um, now, these three, one of them's got a copper negative, and one of them has got a black ring around the positive. That's kind of weird. Similar mix in these ones. And these ones, it looks damaged. Let's have a closer look. Yeah, these ones really look like they're quite damaged. Voltage is the same as the rest of the pack though, so. Now the last step to get these batteries out is to take the charge port, the test button and the voltmeter out. Now same as the last one, it looks like that's glued in with a hot glue gun or something. So just like the last set, um, wrapped in cardboard and sellotape and not held under compression. Braised beef noodles this time. That's some excellent recycling right there. So this is the dodgy cell. Uh, the terminals are all scratched up. Well, not so much scratched up. I thought initially that it looked like they were... Um, looked like maybe it was dropped and dragged along the ground or something, but it actually looks like they've been machined flat. Look at that. It's come out of there. 
Looks like it was something that was dropped in there by accident. Mm. Anyway, not impressive so far, but they're bigger, so maybe they will hold more power. And at the end of the day, that's all it's got to do. I haven't noticed any big dents or anything, so it doesn't look like they've been dropped. Just those terminals, right? Unbelievable. They're going to take some tidying up at least before they're usable. Well, there we go. 24 unknown capacity, unknown quality. Well, clearly low quality. I'm just going to throw them together, put them through a cycle, see what happens. I'll have to make new bus bars because they're 5mm um, wider than the other ones. And I'll have to make a, make a new battery box because they're taller well, and wider. And because these cells are so much heavier, I think I will make two separate packs of 12 and connect them together in the bus. That way I can carry them. So where the original battery was made out of these cells, um, the new battery will be made out of these cells. Now they're a bit taller. They are um, a bit bit wider but they're not quite as long and they're about half a kilo heavier now this time I'll be doing things a little bit differently um, partly because of necessity and partly because I'm learning along the way for a starter um, because of the different shape and size of the battery then these lovely, I mean look at that, that's, that was so cool. These lovely links are no use. Now, um, so I have to make more, and this is all the pipe I've got left. So that's not going to happen, and I don't really want to buy um, a copper buzz bar just to make my own links. But I do have um, a bit of bigger pipe. This is quite a lot bigger. This is quite a lot bigger um, because it comes from a lot bigger pipe. And I have almost two meters of it. So I think that's the exact right amount I need. So I might make myself some links out of that. Um, and when it comes to the balancing of the batteries, um, because they're all different capacities, the balancing and getting them all top balanced actually didn't seem to make any bloody difference at all. And um, perhaps if they are all reasonably close to start with, then the the SBMS zero is going to balance them anyway. It's going to top balance them um, every time it charges and possibly bottom balance them as well. So, so I'm not going to bother with that. And, and aside from that, um, what was more effective, I think, was the mid balancing. And um, unfortunately, I never got to, to check that second round of mid balancing, but um, I did, you know, can only, could only have got better. Well, what I think is probably more important than the initial top balancing would be the various capacities of each cell. So um, I won't really have a feel for that until I um, put it through a cycle or two. So I'm simply going to assemble it in any order and uh, crank it up and see what happens. I mean the, the, the electrodacus won't let me um, over discharge any cell, it won't let me overcharge any cell um, or any group of cells and of course once they are grouped in parallel they are effectively just one big cell. 
And the battery case I made is also too small. It's not tall enough. It won't protect the top of the batteries. Um, and it's uh, and the and the connecting rods are too short because they were cut to the right length for <laughs> the last battery pack. So I'll need a couple more rods, um, and we'll have to make some new end plates. Where I'm putting it in the bus should hopefully still have enough room for it. Um, I'll just run it a touch closer to the wall. So, yeah. So new theory, instead of a flat washer, a spring washer and a small bolt, I'm going to go with a larger bolt and a nut. I'll show you what I mean. Um, and screw that in loosely, then use the nut to tighten down the battery links. And here's what it looks like after I've screwed 48 nuts onto 48 bolts. So my links are ready. And my cells are ready. Oh yeah, that'll look good on there. Yep, they look good on there. Well, I've put it together. I'm going to uh, do some testing on it. I mean, how can I possibly complain when I've got a free battery or batteries after you know completely pulling apart and voiding any warranty on the old ones um, so if it turns out they're not as uh, good as what they're meant to be who cares anyway thank you for watching I uh, hope you enjoyed the video keep looking to see how they test and uh, you can do that by subscribing here or there or maybe up there um, or having a look at another video either way uh, hopefully I'll see you again soon take care Matewa.